Hey, what's up, Drop Tech Fam? It's your host, back again with the latest tech updates. Today, we're diving into some big news from Samsung. Tomorrow, Samsung is set to host its 2024 Developer Conference in California. As usual, this is a highly anticipated event, but this year there seems to be a little twist. While we usually get a glimpse of the latest One UI updates, this time, things might be a bit different. It's unclear if we'll be seeing the next big iteration, One UI 7, during SDC 24. So, what's really happening at the conference? Let's talk about that. Samsung has been celebrating a decade of open innovation and collaboration with developers, partners, and, of course, its loyal customers. The focus of this year's event will be all about maximizing the potential of today's AI advancements. One of the key highlights we're looking forward to is the keynote speech by Sally Hijong, who's the executive vice president and head of framework R&D in the mobile experience business. For those of you who don't know, Sally leads Samsung's One UI design team. She's usually the one to introduce the new versions of One UI at these kinds of events, so fingers crossed we hear something about One UI 7 tomorrow. But if not, we'll likely hear about other cool developments. Now, Samsung is planning to showcase some impressive cross-platform innovations. These will focus on how developers can harness tools like SmartThings, Galaxy AI, Knox, and Tizen to create the next generation of tech solutions. From what we know so far, Galaxy AI is expected to take center stage at the event, which is pretty exciting. However, up until now, Samsung hasn't really mentioned One UI in any of their press releases for SDC24. This raises some questions. Will we see One UI 7 introduced or not? We're all hoping for some exciting news because Galaxy S24 users, in particular, have been eagerly awaiting the Android 15-based One UI 7 beta program. But the reality is, no signs of testing have been spotted just yet. Even sources that track Samsung's servers haven't found any beta firmware for One UI 7. So, there's no official confirmation on when or if the beta will roll out soon. This is why tomorrow's SDC event is extra important for all Galaxy users, not just the developers attending the event. Interestingly, it was recently confirmed that Pixel devices will receive Android 15 sometime in mid-October. Google is already gearing up to release the stable update, and they've shifted their beta testing to the quarterly platform release, QPR, phase for Android 15. So, what does that mean for One UI? There's a strong chance we might see One UI adopt a feature similar to iOS's stolen device protection. This is thanks to a new tool that Google is currently working on for Android. It's called Identity Check. The idea behind it is to add an extra layer of security to your device. You'll need to use your fingerprint or face scan to unlock certain apps, which is meant to protect your privacy and reduce the chances of unauthorized access. Pretty useful, right? Samsung has always been keen on integrating Android's latest security and privacy features into One UI, so we can expect to see this identity check feature on Galaxy devices in the near future. Right now, though, since it's still under development, there's not much detail available on exactly how it will work. What we do know is that this feature would only be triggered if your phone is outside of a trusted location. In fact, Michelle Rahman, a well-known Android researcher, recently found a new string in the settings app that suggests the feature is being worked on. It says, identity check is on. There's also code that triggers when the biometric prompt is activated in Android's system. So, when apps allow you to use a PIN, password, or pattern as a backup, this feature would bypass those and require a fingerprint or face scan for an extra layer of protection. But here's the cool part. This feature might only activate when your device is outside of trusted locations like your home. It's likely to be introduced through an upgrade to the Trusted Places tool, which is designed to keep your phone unlocked when you're in a safe environment. With this upgrade, the system might use trusted locations to decide when biometric authentication is necessary for unlocking apps. And that's all we have for today. What do you think Samsung has in store for us at tomorrow's developer conference? Will we finally see One UI 7 or some other exciting updates? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, stay tuned to Drop Tech for all the latest tech news, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace out.